Hey guys, it's Rally here and welcome to episode 20 of Let's FIFA 18 and uh, as you'll see here, I sold on Rashford since the last episode. So I ended off the last episode by losing uh, my first match of Division 5 and uh, yeah, uh, in that match, uh, Rashford, he lost the ball a lot, he missed opportunities and I was just frustrated with him. I didn't feel he performed as good as I wanted to or at least not as good as the amount of coins I paid for him. I, I was expecting a better return and maybe I, I, it was like a, a rash decision that I just decided to sell him on but I was just, I played a couple of matches with him, I didn't feel like he was that great or as good as I want him to be so I thought you know what I'll sell him on, I'll get a lot of coins in and hopefully I can pick up a better striker so um we are not playing with the Rashford team or the hybrid team right now. So that squad is missing a striker as of now, but we'll find a replacement eventually. And we start off this episode instead with our Serie A squad. And uh, we came up against a pretty pretty strong team. And this guy, his custom tactics just had his back line so far back. It just like It just pulled back all the time. He's very, very defensive. And then he scored to 1-0 on, I think, his first shot at that stage of the match so that had me quite frustrated because it was so difficult to create anything against this guy's defense was really really good it just backed off and then he had his midfielders tracking back um so very difficult to play against this guy and uh well he didn't create much going forward but i had a difficult time creating stuff against him as well uh but here towards the end of the match i did find some space and i got some shots in but butland would save it and then the 88th minute he was going forward with vardy here and was able to pick the ball up and see here we go on the counter attack but you also see the back line is just like running backwards and that was how it was most of the match. I had a very difficult time to find a lot of space. But this time, I sort of got past the midfield, I suppose. They didn't track back that quick. I took a long shot just to try something. And as he was going forward, we picked the ball back up again. And we caught the midfield sort of off balance. We played on Futa Quadrado and would actually get a 90th minute winner. That was a nice feeling because it was a very tough match. And it was a frustrating match because throughout the entire game, he only had that one shot on target. And he went into the lead with it. And I thought... I actually was going to lose the match but at least we managed to bounce back very very late well I guess we got the equalizer pretty quick but the winner it was a little bit too late for my liking but nonetheless it was a win and with that would get three points the first three points of division five now uh, I did mention that I was going to play the foot champions uh, I'm hoping to do that this weekend now uh, the last episode and this episode was recorded on the Monday and uh, the weekend league was extended uh, throughout Monday as well. That meant there was no qualifiers at that point in time. Um, so hopefully uh, I can qualify in time for, I suppose, already tomorrow it starts up uh, again the next weekend league. So I haven't played those matches yet, but I hope I'll be able to qualify in time and play a bit of the weekend league on this weekend. Um, anyways, uh, another match in Division 5. And uh, Bravo, uh, with a lovely save there from the free kick. I just can't score those finesse free kicks or whatever you want to call them. Those that are not driven just doesn't really seem to work out. And uh, my opponent went down the other end. He scored and made a 1-0. But we scored off another corner yet again. Cudrado with a header to make it 1-1. One, one. But um, yeah, we're going to play against Sun. And I thought that was offside, but apparently not. And he made it 2-1, and Sun was going to be a pain to play against. However, Cudrado was on fire in this match as well and get us a goal back pretty quick to make it 2-2. And pretty much right from his kickoff, he will play it to Sun. I gave him too much space, and Mike Kiba was not doing too much there. What a shot. 3-2 it was. Uh, but uh, this game had a lot of goals. And uh, pretty much straight after that, ball onto Gomez, ball roll, a little sort of skill around the next defender, and 3-3. It was nice goal from him. But Sun... It's like everything he hit, it just went into the back of the net. There was nothing going wide or off target uh, with those long shots. And my keeper didn't save anything. I got a big chance right after. Couldn't put it into the back of the net. And I actually got one more chance just before halftime. Kadira here dragging it back. I got sort of a wrong pass there, but I'll keep possession at least. Pass it on to Zielinski. Zielinski in two Gomez. But Bravo would save the shot into the second half. Still looking for that equalizer. Turning around, Cudrado trying to go for the left bottom corner. Couldn't quite get a proper shot in. Perisic doing sort of the same thing. This time it went too wide. I couldn't get the goal. And then my opponent with a huge chance there. But at least Son wouldn't score, uh, I think, his fourth goal of the match. Finally, he didn't put the ball into the back of the net. And uh, instead, we're still looking for that goal. Cudrado going into the box. And we would hit the post as well. 
things were just not clicking at this stage. I couldn't get that equalizer. Perisic with another chance, and Bravo with another save. And then the 76th minute, his next shot on target, his next goal, and it was 5-3. And uh, it was like everything just worked for this guy. I don't even know what this free kick was. Uh, it was just like, it didn't even go far. It fell to Sanchez. He just hit the shooting button and it went into the back of the net. 6-3. Uh, he just scored on everything. And uh, we would break on through, try another shot. I didn't really get to the far corner, and thus I'd lose 6-3. And uh, I was a bit in disbelief. He had six shots on targets, 11 in total. Um, everything on target just went in. I had 18 shots, 11 on target, and three goals. It's just one of those matches where my shots just didn't want to go into the back of the net, and his just, they just did. Uh, my keeper had three saves, Bravo with 11. Uh, I just, nothing really worked or clicked in that match. So a bit disappointing, because now we on two losses from three matches in the division. And if we want to pick up that title, well... We can still drop some more points, but it's only five more points we can drop. So we can lose one and draw two more. That's about it. We can't lose two matches or anything like that. So we need to start winning. Need to start winning, um, buddy. Yeah. I decided to, to switch team. Let's jump on to our hybrid team and see if we can do a bit better. Now, I did not have Rashford, but I did have a lone Griezmann that links up with the French players up top. I'm not too sure who we are going to use as a striker um, for like uh, when Griezmann runs out of contracts. It might be that we play Martial strike and move Sun forward, uh, or we might figure out something else. Uh, I guess uh, eventually I'll figure out who, who goes in on that striker spot. Anyways, it was a first match with Griezmann, and uh, we are up against a quite strong team. My opponent with the first chance here, but it was going to be us playing a whole lot better. And we played on through to Griezmann, and he gets his first goal for the club. Now, Griezmann would be a cool player to buy as our striker, but I think he's like 300, 400,000 coins, so bit out our price range at this stage in time. Trying our long shot with Usman Dembele just to test out what he's all about. We did sign him in the last episode and we're going to be playing a lot more with him, of course, and hopefully score some nice goals. Using the El Tornado there, another reason to get Griezmann. Uh, that uh, nice little skill move. And uh, I suppose Deli Ali can also do it, so maybe that's a player to think about getting. Anyways, we'll go up 2-0 uh, and this match was looking pretty good. Dembele with the volley there from the corner and I think that is my new tactic on corners. Pass it short and find some space and try and cross it in. I've been scoring a couple of goals and creating chances from that lately, so I think that is my new little corner tactic. Anyways, we get another goal with Griezmann. We make it 3-0 and uh, things were looking pretty good, but then 56 minute lovely through ball onto Alexis Sanchez. He stops up here. Nice pass into Coleman, but Fairman with the save and we're able to get it away in the end and 10 minutes later another chance from my opponent you think he was playing all out attack or something Socrates forward there but the shot in the end not good enough 85th minute we played forward and I was trying to uh, to score with the El Tornado skill get a volley in just wide of the goal there with Griezmann and then in the 88th minute one last chance for my opponent with Ursula and I thought that one actually was going into the back of the net but it went wide would keep the clean sheet and we'd win the match and uh, get three points in the division. So looking a little bit better now, but still we need to string some more wins together. Anyways, this is going to be the end of the episode right here. Hopefully we'll have the next episode out tomorrow, or the day after tomorrow, where I hope that I qualify for foot champions. Anyways, this is the end. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.